So let's take a look at the modified newton Raphson method example. Use the modified newton Raphson method to find the root of the following polynomial function with the pre-specified tolerance is 0.05%. Compare the approximation with these two initial guesses. So what you're going to do now is actually to apply modified newton raphson method first using the initial guess x equal to one, x equal to 0. And then after you have solved it, of course, you will get an approximation of root. And then you try it again using uh, the second initial guess, which is x equal to 2. So the function that we are going to work on is this one, a cubic function, which is fx equal to x cubed minus 7x squared plus 8x plus 16. So this is how we're going to solve it. Step 1. Understand that the iteration process should stop when the approximate error is Epsilon A less than Epsilon S. So Epsilon A is of course the approximate error percentage and the Epsilon S is the stoppage, stoppage error or the pre-specified the pre uh, tolerance percentage. Uh, however, in this example, the stoppage error has been specified which is 0.05%. So uh, it makes things easier for you to solve this problem. So in the second step, we recall the modified newton Raphson formula, which is that one. And we have to write down the expression of the function's first derivative, of course. So we have the cubic function, so we need to differentiate it once. And we also need to write down the second derivative of the function because it appears in the function. So the cubic function, we differentiate it once, we got that 3x squared minus 14x plus 8. And if we differentiate it once again to get the second derivative, we will get um, f double prime x equal to 6x minus 14. So step 3, of course, we will draw the table uh, with the necessary columns which might help us to do the iteration and the calculation process easy. All right. And since we are solving for the first initial guess, which is x equal to 0, so for the first iteration, uh, we write down 0 in the xi column. And then, of course, we substitute the x equal to 0 into the function fx and also into the uh, first derivative function and the second derivative function. So we will get uh, 16, 8 and minus 14 uh, respectively. And then we apply the modified newton Raphson formula. So we substitute all the values that we have in the previous columns into the formula. Uh, so we will get xi plus 1 equal to minus 0 0.4444. So, so that is the uh, the root approximation in the first iteration. Of course, the approximate error is still big, so we proceed to the second iteration. So we use the new approximation in the first iteration as the new initial value of the second iteration. So just bring it down there. And then, of course, we continue the calculation as the previous iteration. And we can see that the approximate error is 47.619%. So of course it is still uh, it is still larger than the uh, stoppage error. So we continue with the uh, third iteration. So we continue with the third iteration and all the calculation process, um, which is similar to the previous iterations. So you can see that the new approximation is attained, uh, which is 0 0.9 minus 0 0.990253, but the approximate error is still greater than the stoppage error. So we continue with the fourth iteration and then fifth iteration. And then we can see that um, the approximate error in the fifth iteration is already uh, lower than the stoppage error, which is 0.05%. So now we take a look at the approximation in the final iteration, uh, which is minus 1. So we can say that the root approximation with initial guess x equal to 0 is x equal to minus 1. 
recalling that the multiple root has zero first derivative. Okay. Now we check whether the, de the first derivative of our approximation here is zero or near to zero. So why we need to ask this question? Because if the first derivative of this root is zero or near to zero, meaning that this root is a multiple root. And let's say if the value of the first derivative of this root is not zero or far away from zero, it means that this root is not multiple root. It is just a simple root. So let's check it out. This is the first derivative column. So we go down, which is that one. That is the first derivative of uh, the root x equal to minus 1. So you can see that the value is not 0 and uh, not near to 0. So what we can conclude is in the one in the blue uh, blue font, which is xr, the root equal to minus 1, is just a simple root. It is a root, but it is just a simple root, not multiple root. Now we proceed to the calculation of this function to find the root, but this time using the initial guess, x equal to 2. Uh, the way we do is very similar to the previous one when we calculate using the initial guess x equal to 0. So we can simply skip to step 3 straight away. So we create the table, the first iteration, but this time the initial value is 2.0. So we calculate for the rest as the same as we did for the first initial guess just now. And we can see that in the fourth iteration, we have already reached the value of approximate error lesser than the, uh, the stoppage error. So we go to the value of the approximation xi plus 1. That is the root. Okay, so we can simply say it as the root equal to 4. So recall back that the multiple root must has zero first derivative or at least very close to zero. So we go to the column of f prime, which is the first derivative. And we take a look at the first derivative value in the final iteration, which is uh, near to zero. So we can conclude that the root x equal to four is a multiple root. So that is how we calculate and determine the multiple root using modified Newton Rand method. So it is shown that the root is a multiple root, but the question is how to know the multiplication of the root. Is it a double root? Uh, is it a triple root or more? So looking back at the function that we are dealing with, it is a cubic function, meaning that it must have three roots. Okay, so that is the function. Uh, with the initial guess of x equal to 0, we have obtained that we have one root, which is x equal to minus 1, uh, meaning there are only two roots left. Okay. With the second initial guess, x equal to 2, we obtain a multiple root, which is x equal to 4. So since there are two roots left only, and by definition, multiple root must be double root by minimum, it means that the x equal to 4 is a double root. So that's all for today. Um, we have learned the modified newton Lexson method and we have seen one of the examples. Thank you very much. Terima kasih.